Spotify fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. Unbeaten WBO flyweight champion Bam Rodriguez takes on unbeaten IBF champ Sonny Edwards December 16th in a unification bout at the Desert Diamond Arena in Arizona. Somebody's O has to go. Let's get into it. Sonny Edwards is a switch-hitting slick fighter who we have seen at least hold his own at all ranges. But when Sonny is matched against opponents with proven power, he tends to utilize lateral movement, making it hard for his opponents to set his feet. Sonny will either set up disengagement traps for an opponent with imperfect footwork or lacking awareness of distance, or will simply move to reset. Bam is known as a fighter who mimicked Vasily Lomachenko very well, seeking advantageous positioning with dynamic footwork to angles when an opponent gives him equal positioning or is aggressive. However, when given lateral movement and distance, Bam tends to forfeit the angles in favor of far more aggressive come forward style where he now has issues with his footwork by closing distance. It just so happens that Bam's last fight featured an opponent who utilized plenty of lateral movement and also switched stances from time to time, so we got a good look at his tendencies against the style. These issues make it more likely that Sonny is more successful developing offense off his lateral movement as each issue leaves Bam vulnerable and in range before he's ready to defend. Helping Sonny control the distance will be a good lead hand and jab. Bam typically utilizes a high guard, which on its own is simply a thinly layered defensive system. Sonny seems aware of how to take advantage of high guards as we've seen him occupy the guard with jabs or probes then attack the body with power shots. He also has a high level long range peel game with the lead hand that clears the guard for the subsequent backhand. Sonny isn't unfamiliar with using dynamic footwork to achieve angles either, and especially when his opponent has his hand stuck in the high guard. If he isn't just walking in the range, when Bam finally gets just outside equal positioning, he often utilizes a lead backhand in which he sometimes tends to reach. 
or a single jab with the full step. The full step in on a single jab is a riskier way to close distance because the jab is typically the weakest punch while also being the most counter punch in boxing. And the step in means you're stepping in range of your opponent's power. Bam is aware of the risk and will use controls or cover up immediately in the high guard most of the time, which as previously stated isn't exactly ironclad. His last opponent was able to counter the penetration steps with a myriad of strikes and combinations. but he found most of his success with body shots around the elbow of the guard. Sonny being more of a pure boxer than anything else is a great counter puncher that will be looking to take advantage of any mistakes Bam makes while trying to close distance. However, when Bam gains equal positioning safely or Sonny doesn't take advantage of the mistakes on the step in, it could be trouble for Sonny as Bam has great false steps and a faint game. The faint game can work to freeze an opponent and expose their defense.